Ladies, 4x4 relays, anything can happen. And it just did. But first, you got to put yourself in the mix, right? Sophie, great lead off leg. Talk me through that top end. You were just absolutely going for it. Yeah, I just felt unreal. Like, I can't keep saying it. I felt like I could keep going. As I said, the roar from the crowd when they said Ireland in lane six, I was just like, oh my God, this is unreal. Like, it almost matched the Hungarian cheer when they called them out. And yeah, it just really gave me a bit of, like, hunger to just get in there. So got stuck in. I tried to keep close to the American on my outside, and I think I was making ground on her as we went up the home straight. Just kept going, high knees, high hips was what was in my head. Saw Roshi there, pass it off to her, and she just tore around that bend. It was a great, great yeah. leg, and obviously that, coming into the home straight and Roshi, and you're looking up, and you can see her coming yeah. at you. What are you thinking? I'm thinking, wow, we're in <laughs> such a good position, and it was uh, such a brilliant boost to be that far up. Um, and I was just thinking, I really need to hold on to this. And um, there was maybe a little bit of traffic at the break, um, so I tried to negotiate that um, the best I could without interrupting my rhythm. Um, I think I did that. I kind of slotted in behind, um, which I don't know. Um, but you know, we kind of I kept us in contention to try and put Kelly and Charlene in the best position I could, um, and they did amazing. But so <laughs> your last 120, as I, as I was watching, you hooked that line so so well, and then you yeah. had to go from like lane one nearly out to lane five yeah. or something like yeah. that to get the baton across. Yeah. And you did that so so well. Yeah. Again, Kelly, like you know, first competition here at this level yeah what do you think at the line when you can see Roshin coming at you going all the way yeah because that's so yeah. important to make sure you're in the right, the I right know, place I know when I saw Roshin coming I just was waving hand high I was like <laughs> I, I, hope she, you. I hope she can see me she did of course and like the same as the girls when I saw like Sophie in a brilliant position Roshin in a brilliant position I was just like let's go we're going out there we're emptying our heart and soul on that track so like once I took it from Roshin I was just focused on getting around the bend hard and then trying to hold that position yeah, and not losing yeah. it and really just keeping close to that athlete in front of me. Yeah, because you did that well because in 4 by 4 you just don't want to get caught adrift. Exactly, exactly. And yeah, and I know the athlete in front of me was a quick runner, so I just thought, like, maintain the position um, and try give it over to Charlene with, you know, not too much work to do. Obviously, there was still a lot of work to do, but I knew she was going to pull it off, and I was confident hand the baton to her, just take it off me. Like, but Charlene just loves to run 400. <laughs> My favourite event, what can I say? No, when the Swiss girl uh, took the line in front of me, I was actually quite pleased. I had something to work towards. Wanted to take her on the bend, but I said, no, Charlene, relax. And I took her on the home or on the back straight. That gives me so much confidence. Once I know I can do that, I'm up into my running. I'm smooth, I'm relaxed. And then I just let the crowd bring me home. And yeah, it was amazing. But like, obviously when you run, you don't really know how fast you're going. But did you have any inclination that, you know what, we could be in for a... Uh, we were going for a top five finish. That was what we aimed for yesterday in the meeting. I think that's what we did. <laughs> uh, the girls put me in a great position and we made a world final because of it and I couldn't be prouder of us. But what a week. You know, you've, you've bookended this week with the mixed 4x4 final and now another final at the very, very end. Like, to all of you, this is, this is amazing. Yeah, when the girls told me we qualified, I think my face was just like, what? <laughs> but, like, we get to go again. Like, that's why I ran my heart out there. That's why yeah. the girls did it. We put ourselves in the best spot and we came away with a qualification for the final and that's just, to us, it's yeah. amazing. And look, it's been a long week, but Sophie, chicken and rice for recovery again, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> the glamorous life of an athlete, you know, yourself. I feel like, I don't know, on TV they make it sound a lot better. It's just go home, chicken and rice and sleep. That's literally it. Well, look, massive well done. It's a world final tomorrow. Look forward to it. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Looking forward to it. Good stuff.